471. Education is the key to all opportunities. However, for these siblings, Feni Anyango and Regan Odhiambo, opportunity is something that may remain distant if they fail to acquire the greatly desired education. Often as a result of HIV-related ailments, 18-year-old Regan doubles as the sole breadwinner and father to his 9-year-old sister who tested positive to HIV four years ago. Strained financially, along with the constant need to have her close for medication purposes, little Fanny was forced to abandon her quest for an education. government Maybe I in a week, I Nasema kwa ni tatizo, lakini sahi na jaribu sana mwenye za mpatia support ya kuenda shule hata kama ni boarding school. Shule likuwa mzuri, tunafanya sapu, tuna, tunasoma English, tunasoma kiswele. Mkukua mkubwa, ningopanda kufanya kazi kwa hoteli. Regan found out his sister's HIV status at a time when his mother was also bedridden. Compounded to that, Fanny was also infected with TB, intensifying the burden of care. This forced him to quit school and instead get a job to fend for his family. Kwanza walikuwa na mtibu malaria, after that wakapimi wakifua, wakapimi wakifua, wakasema kona TB. Before I was on the shadow of the TB, I was a PIMA, I was a positive. I was a little bit of a mama, but mama, I was a little bit of 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 a face ambayo ni miezi miwili anameza miezi miwili akimaliza ndio anaanzisha ARVs sasa unaona katika hiyo continuous phase mtu anakuwa na pill burden drug adherence among children is something that needs to be checked at all times if the response to HIV is to be effective at her tender age Feni has her entire future ahead of her a fact that her brother Regan is intent on making a reality in the past four years, Fanny has been infected with pulmonary TB once and extreme pulmonary TB twice. This is mainly as a result of the polluted surroundings within Kibera slums that make her vulnerable to infections. Drug adherence has also been a challenge. Regan was hence forced to marry at only 18 to ensure his sibling has someone to assist her in taking her ARVs on time. Alikuwa ameacha amemiss clinic moja. Alikuwa amekosa kuendea dawa kwa muda wa mwezi mmoja. Sasa wakati nilipoenda hapo nikapewa jina lake nije nimtafute. Alikuwa TB relapse na alikuwa kwa retreatment. Tangu nipate pesa ya chakula inakuwa ile saa yake ya kumeza dawa inapita. Lakini nikajimudu tu na jaribu at least natafuta hata kama Ata kama nukop, ata kama nukwenda kumarafiki, lakini marafiki na weze kusaidia kila siku. Feni's dream of becoming a hotelier hangs in the balance, just like many orphans her age, who have to not only battle with HIV, but face the reality of poverty and hopelessness. Her story mirrors that of millions of other orphans whose plight the government has to address urgently to ensure drug adherence among children is dealt with to save lives. Kathina Chenga for Channel One Beyond the Epidemic.